the ancient Israelites piled up stones to remember. Remember what exactly? God's faithfulness, his fulfillment of promises, his provision and protection. When God showed up, they stacked up. Over the past year, we have experienced God in incredible ways here at Kensington. So let's pile up some of those moments to celebrate God's faithfulness together as a community. Life is hard. Now, doesn't that sound like the start of a celebration? It's true though, life is full of challenging seasons and at Kensington, we believe that we can bravely step toward wholeness and community during those times because we know it is God's nature to heal and redeem. Whether it's time to make some changes or it's a season of navigating, it's always in community and through Jesus that we have hope. Let's stack up a stone. Make that 140 stones for the average number of people that joined us weekly for Celebrate Recovery. With a yearly total of more than 240 newcomers, Celebrate Recovery is a confidential, no pressure Bible-based recovery program designed to offer support and hope for the hurts, habits, and hangups of life. Our recovery programs, as well as all our care initiatives are also for those seeking healing. Sometimes our pain has nothing to do with our choices, but we do have the choice to bring our wounds to God and ask for His healing touch. In March, Birmingham staff member Tatiana Schmidt bravely shared her own journey and the subsequent pain and shame, but ultimately finding healing in Jesus. And now I'm more confident than ever that God's character remains the same regardless of our circumstances. We also had more than 50 individuals find support and community through our divorce recovery groups. It's a place to hear from expert speakers, have small group discussion, and a time of community with people on the same journey. We're grateful that our grief recovery workshops and groups provided support and community to more than 90 people this year. Here are Matt and Emily Hines to share about how important community and their faith were during their heartbreaking journey of grief after losing their son. Staying close to God in that moment, in those weeks right after grief, it's hard to do, but Grief Share keeps you in the Word, it keeps you with in community with other Christians or with other people that are coming to Christ through Grief Share. Our mission statement is to see everyone transformed and mobilized by Jesus. And we as a community have had the privilege to celebrate the life transformation of 301 people through baptisms. So let's keep stacking these stones. The plunging into the water and rising up again that signifies new life in Jesus is the greatest reason for celebration. There was always a hole and I tried to fill it many, many different ways, but it never worked. Uh, it wasn't until I met my wife and she uh, reintroduced me to what was missing, and that was a uh, relationship with Christ. At Kensington, we're on a mission to move out beyond our four walls to bring the love of Jesus to those around us. We have more than 50 move out teams in Metro Detroit, serving local communities by tutoring, gardening, coaching, cooking, fixing cars, doing disaster relief, supporting foster care, mentoring international students, and more. Our Traverse City campus has seven more move out teams serving their local community from mentoring local students to a prison ministry. Their community garden team has cleared land, built fences and planted seeds all to serve their neighbors. Another move out team serving the Detroit area is WAVE, which stands for Welcoming All, Valuing Everyone. WAVE's heart is for people experiencing homelessness to know the love of Jesus by providing them with hot showers, clothing, hygiene essentials, and ultimately dignity and love. Being able to be somebody who is here to see them, to show them love, and know that they're not alone is, is what we're all about. In November, Kensington's campuses delivered 1,400 Thanksgiving baskets to local families from our partner school so that they could enjoy the holiday as a family with a full table. Each fall, our back to school drive helps out hundreds of elementary children at our nine partner schools so they can start the year off strong. Throughout the school year, our move out teams give the most treasured of all resources, their time. They provide one-on-one -on -one tutoring, library support, staff encouragement, and more. In May, our Orion campus hosted the entire Pontiac School District for a staff appreciation event. The red carpet was literally rolled out for these 500 staff members who spend their days pouring in to our next generation. Another move out team that is changing the lives of students is the Imagine move out team led by Tamika Morrow. Imagine is giving high schoolers a place to belong, a vision for their future and adults who believe in them. And just having that type of community around you can be one that not only nurtures you, but also cause you to grow and to blossom and to sprout like never before. Here's a big rock, the Mustang raffle. Because of your generosity, God's faithfulness, 
and the handiwork of the Full Throttle Group that fixed up and donated this beauty, we were able to raise $63,000 to support the Move Out Network and all these teams doing incredible things in our local communities. Did you know that on a Sunday morning, God is being worshiped in three languages under the same roof at our Troy campus? Our English services, Kensington's Brazilian campus, and our friends from the Telugu-speaking Christ Holy Church on the third floor. Many nations, one God. As we follow Jesus, we keep bumping into this truth. The love of God is for everyone and the salvation of Jesus is for all people. That's why we celebrated Cultural Heritage Months to honor the many people who have contributed to our collective human history. In February, we recognized Black History Month with selected devotions and teachings, local experiences to museums and community movie nights followed by discussion. We also invited everyone to participate in Undivided, which met weekly for three months to pursue a deeper understanding of the racial healing that needs to take place. During the month of May, we celebrated Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month and recognized the rich cultural diversity and contributions of AAPI individuals. There are so many reasons to celebrate what God is doing here. We could stack up countless stones. Here's a more somber, but so important moment. As the church, we were able to respond to tragedy. On February 14th, we held an evening of prayer, a powerful time, but a sad time, to pray for the students and families impacted by the tragic shootings at MSU, and to pray for the people of Turkey and Syria experiencing loss and devastation after the earthquake. By the end of February, the Kensington community had given more than $70,000 to relief efforts in Syria and Turkey through Send International. The circumstances are heartbreaking, but the open-handedness and generosity of this community is truly something to celebrate. In late March, tornadoes tore through Mississippi and then Illinois. Our ability to respond is what we want to celebrate. Kensington's Move Out team, DRAW, or Disaster Relief at Work, was on the ground with lightning speed, bringing buckets of supplies to homeowners. It's so good to be a part of a church that is on the move. You know, God has always called his people to be on the move. Jesus was always calling his disciples to be on the move. He was always challenging them to get going. I remember when Jesus gathered his disciples in the upper room before he would go to the cross and he had that meal with them, but then he says, hey, let's get going. And then when Jesus rose from the dead and he showed up, he appeared before his disciples and he gave them the great commission. He said, listen, all authority has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples. Jesus was always challenging his people to go. And I just want to honor each and every one of you for going, for moving out, for caring for your neighbor, for being a church on the move. Friends, I believe that God has so many great things in store for us in our future in this next chapter. And we can be certain that as he's with us, he's gonna do great things. So let's get going. Let's move out and see all that God wants to do.